Hi, my name is Dr. Mustafa Yakut. I'm going to present summary of our original research titled the very rapid and ultra rapid virologic response as two new outcome measures to compare two treatment options in patients with chronic hepatitis C virus infection. Hepatitis C virus is an enveloped virus that belongs to the Flaviviridae family of single positive stranded RNA viruses. It is a leading cause of liver disease worldwide. The World Health Organization estimated that about 3% of the world population are infected with chronic hepatitis C virus. The prevalence rates vary widely, ranging from 0.15% in Scandinavia to about 15% in Egypt and in other estimates, 70%, 7% in Egypt. The paradigm shift in chronic hepatitis C virus treatment, the increasing understanding of the HCV life cycle has resulted in the discovery of several viral targets for antiviral therapy, including the non-structural protein 3 and 4A acting as protease, the non-structural protein 5B as polymerase, the non-structural protein 5A as a replication complex or replicase, and the HCV hepatocyte cell entry mechanisms. Optimal HCV therapy is now believed to require a combination of antivirals targeting multiple aspects of the viral life cycle, which is analogous to the HIV highly active antiretroviral therapy. This figure depicts the life cycle of the uh, hepatitis C virus, starting by the virus binding and entry, then the cytoplasmic release and then coating, the uh, translation of the uh, viral polyproteins in the internal ribosome entry sites, and then the uh, RNA replication, packaging and assembly, and then maturation and release. These are some of the uh, molecules that are targeting these viral targets, the protease inhibitors, like the telebrevere, posibrevere, semibrevere, asunabrevere, and others, the non-structural 5A inhibitors, the replication complex inhibitors like Dactatasvir, Lidivasvir, and others, the non-structural 5B or polymerase inhibitors like the nucleotide analogs and non-nucleotide analogs, the sofosbovir and others. And this figure depicts the targets and the molecules targeting these non-structural proteins. The non-structural protein 3 for a protease inhibitors acting on the translation here and the cutting of the polyproteins. The non-structural protein 5B inhibitors acting on the polymerization and virus replication and also the non-structural 5A inhibitors acting on the replication complex and the assembly. The HCV particles circulating in association with lipoproteins and thus the binding and entry into the hepatic uh, liver cells includes some of the uh, lipoproteins receptors like lipoprotein LDL receptor, glycosaminoglycan uh, receptors, scavenger receptor class B type 1, and then there is a CD8 which binds to the enveloped E2 receptor on the virion, and also the clodine, oclodine, and recently discovered the Neiman Pick C1 like 1 receptor. The treatment options for treatment naive patients with HCV genotype 4 infection released this month by the American Association for a Study of Liver Disease, October 2015, are the following. Daily fixed dose combination of lidibasvir 
plus sophos bovir carboni for 12 weeks. Daily fixed dose combination of paritabrevir, ritonavir, and ombitasvir, vicera or curivo, and weight-based ribavirin for 12 weeks. Daily sophos bovir and weight-based ribavirin for 24 weeks. The alternative option for this regimen is in the form of daily sophos bovir and weight-based ribavirin plus weekly begraded interferon for 12 weeks. The challenges of innovation now the very fast moving process of drug discovery in the area of direct acting antivirals for the treatment of chronic HCV necessitates that clinicians would find faster methods for clinical research to support fast decision decisions particularly in the comparative effectiveness research this should be supported also by a faster process for peer reviewing and publication often now, information becomes outdated by the time the lengthy research is completed and the manuscript is published. The speed of virologic response. It has been shown that the speed of virologic response to treatment is linked to the rate of sustained virologic response and hence the rate of cure. The faster the response to therapy, the higher is the probability for cure. The early virologic response was defined as an undetectable serum HCV RNA or a two log or greater drop in HCV RNA at 12 weeks of therapy, while the more accurate rapid virologic response is defined as an undetectable HCV RNA at week 4. Our suggested new endpoints are the very rapid virologic response and the ultra rapid virologic response. In the new era of the direct acting antiviral therapy for chronic HCV with faster actions and shorter duration of therapy, it is possible to use two new interim endpoints for comparative effectiveness research. The very rapid virologic response was defined as the undetectable HCV RNA levels at the end of week two of therapy and the ultra-rapid virologic response we defined as undetectable serum HCV RNA or a four log or greater fall in HCV RNA at the end of week one of therapy. Our study objectives were to present a new model for a fast track comparative effectiveness research where both the speed and the size of effect of two treatments on virus load within just two weeks of therapy are used to compare the two generic sofosbuvir products gratisovir versus gratisiano in a dual therapy protocol with ribavirin in patients with chronic HCV. To compare the mean log reduction of virus load at week one and week two of treatment as well as the proportion of patients achieving ultra-rapid virologic response and very rapid virologic response in both groups. To evaluate the positive and the negative predictive accuracy of both very rapid virologic response and ultra rapid virologic response as on treatment markers for comparative efficacy and as guides for the rationalization of a shortened truncated response guided course of therapy. The study protocol the data collected during the period of this interim report two weeks from starting therapy. From the first 25 patients randomized to either one of two generic sofosbuvir products, gratisovir or gratisiano, in a daily dose of one 400 mg tablet plus a weight-based ribavirin dose were analyzed for both the degree and the speed of virus load reduction at the end of one and two weeks from starting treatment. The virus load reduction at week one, this figure depicts the baseline log virus load reduction by the end of one week of therapy. The baseline log virus load showed a similar markedly significant reduction in both groups by more than four logs at the end of week one. This at baseline, the mean uh, virus load was around about six, rapidly declining 
within one week to less than two logs, that is to say more than four logs reduction of the virus load in just one week. The repeated measures factorial ANOVA test showed no significant difference between the two treatments as regards this rapid decrease in the virus load within one week. And this figure also shows the baseline log virus load it showed a similar markedly significant reduction in both groups by more than five logs at the end of week two. The baseline virus load is about six, decreasing to less than one log by the end of week two. The repeated measures factorial ANOVA test showed no significant difference between the two degrad drugs as regards this uh, reduction within the two weeks of treatment. The ultra-rapid virologic response at week one, we see here the ultra-rapid virologic response at week one is around 50% and 53.8% in both groups with no statistical significant difference between them and the very rapid virologic response rate at week two was in around 83 percent in grad severe and 76.9 percent in gratisiano with also no statistical significance difference between both groups by the fisher exact test in conclusion, we can conclude from this interim report that the two generic products are almost equally fast and efficacious in reducing the HCV virus load during the first two weeks. The predictive accuracy of our two suggested markers of efficacy and the results of truncated four-month response-guided therapy versus the recommended six-month course duration will be analyzed upon full completion of the study follow-up period. Thank you very much.